Hi, thank you for coming back again. I'm glad you are here. It's so much nicer when I've got someone to talk to. Although I'm used to talking to myself because I'm an artist, right? So I work alone in the studio. So I've had a lot of practice at talking to myself, but I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make some really cute little bookmarks, but with painting with coffee. Um, so, first of all, I'm gonna show you how to make the coffee paint, and then I'll show you how to make it look like it's kind of almost like leather. It's almost like a burnished look. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so what we need to start with is some watercolor paper. And this is just regular watercolour paper, it doesn't have to be the really expensive kind. And you need a sharpie, a pencil and an eraser. You might want to use some coloured um, felt pens as well, but that's entirely up to you. So I'm going to first of all show you how to make the coffee and then we'll get into the how to make the bookmarks. So. You need a little plastic palette, just like what you'd get in the dollar store with the little wells. And some instant coffee. Now the recipe is a quarter of a teaspoon for your lightest shade, half a teaspoon for your medium shade, and then the darkest shade is gonna be as much coffee as you can pile into this little well as you possibly can. You want it really dark and good and sticky. Then we need a little bit of boiling water and like in the cooking shows, I came prepared. I've got boiling water in my little flask <laughs> so I don't have to run off to the kitchen and go grab some. Now this part you've got to be careful with because if, you, if you're a little bit too rough it'll spill out. So very carefully you've got to take some of the boiling water and just spoon it into your coffee to make your coffee paint. I mean, how easy is this, right? I feel a little bit embarrassed that I'm teaching you as a tutorial, but it's, um, sometimes it's easy when somebody just shows you how. And you're just gonna give it a good stir up. And this one, I feel like this could take a little bit more coffee granule, so I'm just gonna spoon a few more in because it looks like that water would absorb a, a few more. So let's give it a whirl. Yeah, and it's going to be nice and thick and dark and gooey. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells so good. Okay, so there's our paint. So to prep a um, bookmark, what you're going to do is you're going to get cut your piece of watercolor paper eight inches by four inches. And then you're gonna, with the rough side, to, there's two sides to watercolor paper, a smooth side and a rough side. With the rough side facing you, you're going to just rip all around the edge. Now you don't have to be real fancy with this or careful. You want to be able to see some of the inside of the paper showing through. But um, yeah, you don't have to be too picky or perfectionist about this, which suits me down to the ground. Okay, so now we've got our um, bookmark with the frilly kind of edges. So what we're gonna do first is give it a wash with the lightest color coffee paint. So I've dipped my paintbrush in the water to begin with, and then I'm gonna give it a wash all over the... paper here so you and you're just going to do it all over and to make life easy get yourself a nice wide brush and that's that's all you're going to do so this is going to dry for a few minutes and then um, I'm just going to carry on but oh no I'm not I've got one I have one that I prepared earlier for you look at this <laughs> Here's one that's had a wash and now it's dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the darkest coffee and just carefully go around the edge with the dark coffee. With the darkest shade of coffee. Now, if you screw up, I'm going to show you what happens when you screw up. So 
So say I, I'm down here and I've screwed up and I've gone all over the edge like that. And you say, oh gosh, that looks a mess. Don't worry, wash your brush, make sure it's good and clean. And then you can just clean it away. See how easy that is? See how easy. And then you just carry on going around the edge. Anyway, you don't need to see me going all the way around the edge. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> so this one, I've drawn a very simple design. And I like to draw with, the, with my um, pencil first, then go over it with a Sharpie, and then erase any pencil lines that I don't want. Even though it's painted with coffee, you can rub on this and it's really stained the paper. You're not gonna rub the coffee off. So, I'll, the reason I wanted to show you this particular painting um, is because I'm gonna show you how you can make the top part of the flower look like the sun's hitting it and the bottom part is in shadow. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with just plain water and you're gonna put plain water at the top of the flower. You're not gonna be able to see this very well, but I'm putting plain water up here, quite a bit. Then I'm gonna get my deepest shade and I'm gonna stroke upwards. I'm just gonna stroke upwards. And then, you remember that little sticky thing that I had to mix the coffee? Oh, it's still dirty, but that's okay, I can wash it off a little bit. You're gonna get your sticky thing and you're gonna just score it upwards. So this will help the coffee move into the grooves and it'll add some, um, an illusion that there's some texture within the flower petal. So, can you see how it's, the, the paper is doing its job and it's blending, it's blending upwards. You can always add a little bit more dark down here if you want to, because no sun would get to the bottom part of the flower. And again, because it's wet on top, that's gonna blend upwards as well. And you can put a little bit of dark in here that would be inside of the flower. How simple is that? And with a Sharpie, you can add a little bit of colour to these bees. A little bit of colour. So I can carry on and do another one, if you like. Well, actually, this doesn't take very long at all. So my brush wasn't quite clean, so you can actually see some of the, the water and how much I've put on there. I'm just gonna move it back up. Move it upwards. And then scrape some grooves in the direction that the petal would go. Shadow. I'll do this back one real quick. This one I'm not going to worry too much because this one would be in shadow anyway because it's behind behind this. bits and there you have it there you have a really nice little bookmark painted with coffee now I tend to um, laminate mine just so that they last a little bit longer but you don't have to once this is dry it's not going to be sticky it's going to be um, it won't stick to the pages of your book it'll be perfectly perfectly dry how wonderful is that quick easy I hope you enjoyed it. 
So there you have it, wasn't that simple? A great little craft that you can do with the kids or you can make them for Christmas gifts. I mean, these are pretty generic, the, the images that I've made for you, but they could be themed. They could be themed for Christmas or Easter and make perfect little gifts. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and you won't miss another one of these fabulous little episodes where I show you how to make stuff. Um, thank you for coming.